Welcome to Captain Crush's YouTube. I am the host, Captain Crush. That's right. It's good to be back in the mix. I think I had like three days off because there was no NBA and I don't do YouTube videos usually on Saturday and Sunday. I was able to sweat the Masters round one through four. I even created a video for you guys. If you're new to golf and PGA and you want to get in the mix, you want to start playing or betting, go check that video out. It's like two videos ago. It'll teach you all the terms and tell you what to look for and how to cook. You can't ask for anything else, Bubba. You see what I did there? Bubba Watson, he's a golfer. But the fact remains, today is the play-in. Now, it's not the playoff. So those of you that are new, maybe you just started dabbling. You just started sports betting recently. You're still on the fence. You don't know. Let Captain Crush spit facts for momentarily for you, buddy. This is the deal. This is the play-in. This ain't playoffs. There are going to be teams playing hard, but there still could be some shenanigans like the Lakers being point one or should I say plus one dogs against the Pellies which they just destroyed then we got the Warriors and Kings three point spread should be good right well yeah on paper all these are good but there is a rumor mill that the Lakers want to lose to try to go against my Thunder and not the best player in the world Jokic the defending champs the Denver Nuggets and I wouldn't begrudge the Lakers a bit for selling this game because that would make sense I love my Thunder but they ain't as good as Denver I'm not gonna sit here and try to pretend that they they are. I live in reality. I'm not a delusional human being. I ain't a fanboy. Facts are facts. Fiction is fiction. And saying that the Thunder are better than the Nuggets is fake news. The other side of that coin is we got a lot of Laker faithful telling me and everyone else, oh, you guys don't know the Lakers are going to go out there and try to smash them. They're going to go out there and make a statement. Well, yeah, that all might be true. That all might be fine, but maybe they don't. I don't know. I'm not in that locker room. I have no clue what's going on, but I know when I see this that they're a one-point dog. I kind of got a red flag around me. So I'm telling you all right now, if you think for any single solitary second that that may happen, you need to make it into your contest slash slip building situations and scenarios. I personally am just going to assume that the Lakers want to win this game regardless, and I am going to build my slips around that fact, okay? So y'all, it is Taco Tuesday, and on top of that, Prize Picks has some other star promotion or whatever this nonsense is. Captain Crush doesn't exactly know what it is, but I know these guys are kind of looking fugazi, kind of like an Oklahoma Thunder team, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't really know what to make of it. I know it's a payout boost or whatever, but I, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of propositions on the board right now. A lot of stats, as they like to say, for the games tomorrow, even as much as the games for Saturday, I believe. And I will have videos each and every day of the week. I still have Major League Baseball that I do cover. Unfortunately, I put out one slip for MLB yesterday. It was a two-man. One hit, the other sold, and the, the one that sold was Bassett, and he was my favorite one. Over two and a half earned runs against the Yanks. The Yanks couldn't get on base and get a hit or score, and they ended up losing to the Blue Jays. The Yanks, yay ain't it. You certainly ain't as good as my Pirates. So miss me with the Yanks, one of the ain't it. How are you going to lose to the Jays? I'm not interested. Baseball is a long game, 180 plus games. One game means absolutely nothing. So don't overreact. Don't overthink that. I'm just making a joke. MLB will get good right around the beginning of June once there's more data points. For now, we're still focused on NBA, but I do cover MLB each and every day. We might get an MLB taco today. It wouldn't surprise me. And I put out these projection sheets for you guys each and every day if you're in my Discord aka something you can see hunter green he's projected for eight strikeouts which is absolutely insane 4.3 hits allowed 2.25 earned runs 5.8 innings pitched and 97 pitches so if you are in my discord i do post those mlb projection sheets for you guys so you can make plays the best place to take mlb propositions folks is on chalkboard and sleeper and even now i'm pretty sure chalkboard has the edge on sleeper as of now they're offering promotions every single day discounts boosted lines they also have a ton of stats that no other application has first earned run allowed things like that absolutely insane make sure you're checking out chalkboard and if you stick around to the end of this video i will have a slip for chalkboard for you buddy and maybe parlay play and sleeper too i don't know maybe i'll give it all away so with all that in mind you may be seeing well cap we're on we're talking about prize picks it's taco tuesday why are you telling us this because as these stars 
are produced. The point is that these applications are all competing for your business. They all want your action. They all want your coin. That's good for us. When they compete, we win. That is capitalism 101, baby. Let them all compete. Just like when Chalkboard started the alternate lines, baby. They were first in the market. Then prize picks had to adapt. Then parlay played. Now sleeper. And now it's standard. This is how capitalism and a free market works, baby. This is why it's the greatest system in the world. And with that in mind, you're going to see more and more promotions on every single application because they win no matter what. And they want your coin. They want your business. And more importantly than that, it's summer coming up. It's a slower month for everybody. People are traveling, vacation, whatever. They're using less money on their sports bets, <laughs> theoretically. But not you, DJs. You're here to bet. So without further ado, let's get into it. And maybe we can get some crispy tacos. So right out of the gate, we got James Raymer for the NHL Detroit Red Wings. The goalie saves. Is he hitting? Chat, I have no idea if he's hitting. Do I look like somebody that watches or follows hockey, fella? I ain't that guy. I stay in my lane. That would be someone like Skywalker. I think he's a hockey guy, but Captain Crush ain't a hockey guy. I'm an NBA guy, an NFL guy, an MLB guy, a WNBA guy, a PGA guy, but there was one guy that I am not, and that's NHL. But I take all discounts. I take all tacos, baby. It is what it is. That is what I do. And I will tell you this. You might want to fade these stars because when you see these stars, they may be trapping you. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it this happened while i was doing my research and recording this sucker live but i will tell you guys right out of the gate you want to know my main taco pair it ain't no secret he's probably gonna be the thumbnail even though he doesn't play today he plays tomorrow you dj and i will cover him tomorrow too but it's joel mvp bead absolutely i'm not getting off of joel Embiid. pause no i won't pause because i've been riding this train unabated i've been riding this train front row ticket Check my history. Captain Crusher's had a front row seat right behind the conductor, which is Joel Embiid himself. And the rest of the YouTube faithful in Discord, you guys are behind Captain Crush on the train. We're all sitting there with our tickets. Bang! We're cheering. We're having a good time, baby. And we're hoping to cash one more time because I'm a man of rules. And whenever I see Joel Embiid under 16 first half points, I take it. I do not care. If he sells, he sells. You will not stop me from taking Joel Embiid at 15 and a half first half points i don't care who the matchup is i just do not care and if you want to take his first half pra you want to get crispy in that mix too you go right ahead i'm sticking with the points and like i said you get 25 crispy dollars to use so you can take 1250 let captain crush do it for the visual learners because i know some of you guys are dgens you can't hear good you can't see good you can't do math so let me quarterback this thing you take half of 25 it's 1250 stay with me now bang you put it in you get 3750 if it hits then you have $12.50 extra to use left over from your taco and you can go do whatever you want baby you want to take Joel Embiid's first full game points or whatever have you you want to make a five man with Joel Embiid and the other games that played today do whatever you want but just because the man plays tomorrow does not mean that I'm getting off of him today I know the matchup it's a pace down slower pace I know Miami's a defensive team I know they want to win but so, so does Joel Embiid and the only thing that's going to shut down Embiid is that bum knee that he has. And I will risk it for the biscuit. So this is my main pair. So anybody that's going to ask, Cap, what's your pair? You're looking at it, fella. And if he sells, well, by God, he sells. And like I said, if you don't have the stones to play first half, because make no mistake about it, first half requires stones the size of golf balls, baby. So if you don't have it, you take his full game if you'd like. Now, I'm not sure why Outlier bet they probably will have it tomorrow they're not showing his first half points up here they normally do but as you can see i'm showing you this because the matchup isn't ideal they're third in points allowed to centers miami is and head to head it looks like he struggles against miami right it doesn't matter to me at all baby i'm showing you this to let you know like i said it's a bad matchup make no mistake but i do not care i am taking joel Embiid's first half points look at his last 20 for full game points when he's healthy look at all of 20 23 for his full game which is 30 and a half and you can alternate line it to 29 on some books 
28 of 39 because he missed a lot of games in 2023. 72%. Listen, bad matchup be darned. I'm taking it. You can't talk me off of it. So if you want to ride with Captain Crush, then punch your ticket and get in this train because it's about to steamroll over the Miami Heat and cash our slips. So, now that we know we're taking Joel Embiid, what else can we take? Well, let's go back to today's games and let's talk about the one, the only, the playoff, the play-in, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the best person to ever lace up a pair of shoes to step on the hardwood court, LeBron James. I know, I know you Jordan fans are saying, well, Cap, you're young. I ain't young, number one. I'm young overall but I know what I was around for the Jordan era fella I saw it I know how good he was but the fact of the matter is this my brother and sister in Christ LeBron James has been playing at an elite level for 20 years okay not five not six not seven not miss a year here go back no 20 straight years of absolute dominance and if you can't understand and appreciate that and give him the goat title then you don't know ball and I don't care who you are I said it 20 20 years, as much as I can't stand the man personally on a political level, whatever else, LeBron James, when it comes to playing the game of basketball, the man, he's just like none other will ever see or have seen up to this date. I'm sure eventually someone will come along and smash all of LeBron's records and accolades. That's just how life is. But for now, there is only one LeBron, just like there's only one Captain Crush. There's only one LeBron James and he is the GOAT. Miss me. Now, why am I talking about the GOAT? Well, because there's a lot of options here we got to discuss we got to consider it all oh, his 51 and a, 51 fantasy scores absolutely in the mix now remember i told you at the beginning of this video the narrative going around is lebron gonna sell this game are they gonna try to win well i'm going with the fact that they want to win regardless of who they have to play which will be denver let's just say that they're gonna try to win because we don't want to ever think that they're not but if you do think that you best be taking less but for now his 51 fantasy score is in play he has averaged 1.45 fantasy points per minute over the last five games with a 29% usage rate, fella. Let Captain Crush go to the calculator live. 1.45 times 35. Bang! You get 50.75. But if you bump him up to play-in mode, which he should play like 36 minutes, bang! You get a crispy 52 piece. And that's just over the last five games. His overall fantasy point per minute for the season, I believe, is a snage bit higher so if you want to target his fantasy score you absolutely can but also for those of you that can this is an insanely high number i get it but my model has him at 9.21 and we need to look at this a little bit further because it does have push equity. I wish it was at 8.5 and it is on chalkboard and sleeper. Granted, you pay a little bit of that juice. I think at a worst case, he could push here. This is what kind of is scary here. The fact that the demon is only nine and a half. Prize picks is literally taking advantage of this right here, baby. They're taking advantage of the last five kings. 17, 11, 12, 9. He's been facilitating like a monster. Let's go over to Outlier Bet and see what we can find, baby. He's averaging 14 potential assists per game, which is crispy, a crispy taco, 36 minutes which I did that and showed you the 51 fantasy points. We could see assist allowed to the Pelicans against small Ford 17, but LeBron's actually kind of a hybrid three and four and a one, to be honest. But let's just say for argument's sake, small Ford 17th, overall 17th. It's a decent spot. That line's been going all over the place. It opened at nine and a half, then eight and a half, then it's nine and a half. It's back to eight and a half. Who knows what it's going to land on, but at nine, we do have that crispy push equity and head to head. Head. He dropped 17 on him, and then in February, he dropped 14 on him. He's just been dishing it all over the Pelicans, and there ain't nothing they can do about it. Now, normally... Just like a line being at eight and a half to nine and a half strikeouts, I would tell you to hammer less. Just like Tyler Glass now, baby, yesterday. Less eight and a half. Wanna miss me with your over eight and a half? Nah, nah, nah. I'm not interested. But today, I'm just gonna go ahead and take nine assists. My favorite, actually, besides the fantasy score, would be his R plus A. I teased this down to 15 and a half on chalkboard, and I believe it's crispy because then I can get all the rebounds and all the assists. 
and I can still push if he lands on 17. Last time he had 17 assists alone, didn't he? Something crazy like that, but I think this is crispy. Either one of those, and you're going to get that payout boost, whatever it is. They're not showing it now. They'll probably pay it after because it says if you win, so we don't really know what's going on there. His PRA was 43 the other day. This is also in play, make no mistake. It's extremely high, and you are taking the bump, but it wasn't 43 and a half, so you're getting push equity still, but again, he he may not want to go out there and just score. He may just want to facilitate like he did last time. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. We did just see this game, but remember, teams make adjustments. Just like we can adjust who we're going to take after what we just saw, the teams make adjustments too. So LeBron's assist or his fantasy score, if they want to win this game, it's going to be because of the GOAT, period, okay? Now, from that same game, before I move on, there was a three-point attempted that I liked. It was... Russell over seven and a half. They bumped it up to eight right after I posted it, but I still think this one is in play. Russell can get hot at any time. Forget what he did last game and the couple games before, but he can literally drop seven himself. CJ, I believe, was leading the three points made, so he can get hot from three. And saying that, I like this right here. This is in the mix. This is probably one slip max. I like Curry's 12 and a half three point attempted. And I'm telling you, if Murphy plays like 35 minutes, this is in the mix too. But seeing that this has that little star boost i'll probably not star burst but star boost i'll probably just take that one and d russell again the three point attempted in the dunks they're always one to two slips max they're darts they're not anchors you don't want to be having a lot of exposure to that type of stuff let's be real here folks i'm begging you to think critically now there's two more now that they dropped cj down from 33 at 32 and a half pra i will be taking a shot on this one at 32 and a half pra you can get this at 27 and a half on chalkboard right now baby and I will put that up here. You can see my chalkboard slip. LeBron over eight and a half assists. I get half a point discount. And the CJ McCollum PRA major discount. It's only 10 max, but I don't care. 2.5X. I'll take my 2.5X and move along if it hits me, baby. So get on chalkboard promo code crush. They're on Android now. No excuses. They have the best alternate line system available and you get a free 30 days of the captain's discord. Just send me the email with the proof of deposit and you're in the mix. So CJ at 32 and a half is in the mix. He plays with a lot of heart. I saw it last game. Now another guy, Rui Hachimura. 20 PRA he wasn't 19 and a half he's still 19 and a half on sleeper or chalkboard one of those I know he's there maybe it was parlay play you gotta shop around he does have push equity here but what I'm doing for Mr. Rui is I will have exposure to this because I always take this first half 10 PRA maybe even his fantasy score but it is bumped from his full game but I always have exposure to his first half PRA remember one to two slips max on the first half PRA for Rui the only one you can anchor first half is always Embiid or Luka and then for fantasy score with Rui at 23 I think you got to consider it today it's in the mix he's been a cash cow can he do it one more time for the boys we'll have to wait and see but I will have some exposure to it I'm just keeping it a buck fam so that's pretty much it for that game an honorable mention will be none other than Murph Trey Murphy listen if Trey Murphy they removed a lot of his lines it looks like but they had his PRA up earlier at I think 19 or something crazy yeah they removed a lot of it they took his points down I saw an alert that Ingram was going to get increased minutes today which would mean Murphy's minutes probably slides down but let me tell you something Trey Murphy has been a wagon he played 32 minutes last game he didn't cover anything but he can get hot and he can cover and I did take his PRA on underdog sleeper and chalkboard and parlay play I took alternate lines where I could got it down to 15 and a half it's an honorable mention his rebounds at four and a half this was one six and a half fam and I was taken under then but at four and a half you can go right ahead and take over if you'd like now real quick to my projection model as you can see i have trey murphy projected for 4.31 rebounds so it will be a sweat you could take less if you want to go by that projection 4.3 it's close but i would step in and use my gut and just think he would tend to more likely get five if he does get the minutes rebounds are so streaky man they can just fall into their lap whatever have you y'all know how it is but that's it for that game so a recap we got mccollum we got the goat 
LeBron, and then we have darts with Rui, Hachimura, and then Trey Murphy, whatever. And if you want the rest of that game, you got to be in the Discord. Now let's talk about the Kings right quick. And the first person that comes to mind is going to be none other than Darren Fox. Darren Fox, for those of you that want to correct me all the time with how I say names, even though I intentionally do it for a lull, he's at 50 fantasy points. He does have the star boost. He's at 49 and a half on parlay play, fella. You get value. They score the same way right now do we want to take fox's fantasy well let's check the notepad all right 1.20 last five fantasy point per minute with a 31 percent usage rate let's just say he plays 35 minutes tonight which he could play more you're going to be getting roughly 42 but they didn't care about that last game so that's pretty much off the table so this will honestly be a sweat if you do take this you're hoping he gets his blocks and steals to be honest with you that is where his fantasy upside comes into play if i'm going to be taking old fox tonight it's probably just going to be his pra or something like that i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with these kings yet to be honest i'm not exactly sure but i know i'm going to this guy right here jonathan kuminga got him at 14 points it's now 14 and a half prize picks has been raising the line you might have been able to get it at 13 and a half if you got it soon enough i alternate lined it on about three other books got it at 12 and a half 10 13 all over the place at 14 and a half they're making you think about it his points rebounds were 18 and a half here. They bumped that as well. I think his points assist actually got bumped down from 16 and a half to 15 and a half. I'm not exactly sure what to tell you to do here right now in real time because I know Steve Kerr and I know he's going to do whatever Kerr does. He's going to ride hot hands. Pause. No pause. We're talking about Kerr. He's going to do whatever he's going to do, but he, most importantly, we can't know what he's going to do with the minutes. So I will leave you with this. If you want to take the bump on that, you can. He's projected for right around 14 in my mind. Model. let's go over to the man that i will have exposure to and that is none other than steven kura yes sir we're going with the kura today baby why here's why 1.32 fantasy point per minute over the last five games with a crispy solid 31 percent usage rate you can't beat it with a stick fella i don't care who you are 31 percent usage rate that means when the man's on the court he has the ball in his hands now we're gonna need him to play 34 to 35 minutes I need Kerr to let the man cook. It's an important game. He should let him cook. We'll have to wait and see. Curry's lines are the highest I've ever seen him since the season began. But again, I like the 12 and a half point three points attempted. I like the 43 and a half fantasy score. Give me some of that black and steel equity, Mr. Kurai. You can see his upside, 49, 51, 43. It's always a sweat when you take Kurai. We're going to need him to get steals. We're going to need him to hit his threes. We're going to need it all, baby. Because if he goes out there and he falls flat, well then, chalk it all, baby. That's just the world we live in. That's the life we've chosen. So, Stephen Kurai. You just made the list. I'm begging you not to sell us. And if you don't want to bother with the fantasy score, you say, Cap, I don't think he's getting blocks and steals. It's too high for my blood. Then just maybe take his Gabby. It is boosted, whatever it's going to be. At 24 and a half, you could take that and you could get in the mix there. All right. So one more king that I would like to discuss would probably be a bonus. And I think you have to consider the man's rebounds at 13 and a half that's crazy but we have to consider it his r plus a i mean all this stuff used to be a wagon it's crazy how what he fell off but i don't know what's going on remember this isn't the most important game maybe he's been saving it honestly i'm not again i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do here but if you want to consider any of these guys that would be the one so you could consider fox so bonus just stick with the studs in my personal opinion you can't go wrong it is a plan now again during the playoffs it's totally different i will be able to take these studs with full confidence but again some of these guys may be trying to manipulate seeds and what have you and captain crush doesn't know about all that okay i'm just uh i don't have a boot on the ground in that locker room i'm just like you fella we'll have to wait and see but let's just say we wanted to take some unders here some undies if you will you know what i'm not even gonna bother with that if you want that you'll have to be in the live stream later today and you can get in there by going to captaincrush.net you go down to the gold package baby buy now gold package one month 83 cents a day 24.99 a month i got a six month package you link up with that it gives you access into my discord it also gives you access to my projection sheets which i post in the discord right here under captain's daily news is pdfs for you 
You get access to my daily playlist, the live streams, which start an hour before lock, and most of my slips will be posted here, baby, under Captain Slips or through the Dub Club. Again, yesterday's MLB slip, I only did a two-man. I took it light because, folks, you're not forced into betting every day. If you don't like the slate, you don't have to bet it. But shout out to BK Logic. He tailed my outright Scotty Scheffler. I told him he was winning it all. And sure enough, Scotty Scheffler won the Masters. It is what it is. Cash it, baby. Baby! An outright win. Tuna crushing like always. What's new? Posted this. Tiger Woods and Bradley Beal. That was a two-man I had from Saturday or Sunday. It's Sunday, actually. LeBron and Bradley. That was my two-man on Sunday. And then my big slip, the main slip that I posted on Sunday was right here. A five-man. A hundred to win a thousand. Beal, LeBron, Rudy, Zion, and Jake LaRavia. And Zion sold. He checked in with seven minutes and 40 seconds into the fourth. He could have backdoor covered. Instead, he backdoor sold, baby. And with that in mind, I just know he's going to go nuclear tonight night because that's just how it is but i'll be happy with my 2x everyone if you tailed you got to double up i did give you jamal murray's points as well people found a way to get w's but folks don't be discouraged the playoffs are right around the corner and then we have mlb and wnba coming up i cover it all stick with captain crush and i will get you through it all you just have to be patient you have to ride it out folks we're gambling here baby you gotta be bankroll management you gotta be mentally fit you gotta be mentally sound you gotta stay on pace you gotta stay on the horse you gotta keep your expectations tempered this is hard it's not easy if it was easy these books wouldn't exist guys all you can hope for is you're making the right plays day after day your process is getting better day after day and that's all you can really ask for whatever happens happens once you make the play guys now i said i would show you guys my sleeper chalkboard and parlay play slips at the end i'm a man of my word so i'll close with this this is what i did cj mccomb 27 and a half pra it's boosted 1.78 a hell of a discount and then i paired it with that lebron i get that half a hook discount it's nine on prize picks it's a ten dollar max but listen i'm just trying to get my 2.58 x and move on profit is profit if you want to add legs you can you can flex now on chalkboard you can take alternate lines you can do it all baby remember promo code crush you'll get a full deposit match in 30 days into my discord and i'm not done this is my sleeper that I did. As you can see, I took LeBron again. I took Kaminga's alternate line, 10 plus points. That's crispy. And then shout out to Spartan for the Gomber. Five and a half hits allowed. I'm riding with Spartan on this. 10 to win 30, a crispy 3X. I'll take it all day long, baby. Again, promo code crush on sleeper. Same thing applies. And then last, but certainly not least, parlay play. Do not forget about parlay play. They have LeBron James discounted to 22 and a half points. And I took the alternate line for Daddy Minga at 12 and a half points. Two of two pays 49.6. It's a $20 max. You can add legs if you'd like. I'm getting a little bit over 2X, 2.48X. I'm happy with that. And again, promo code crush, same thing. Match, you get that bonus. You get 30 days of the captain's cord. All the links are in the description. So this video was heck long. It was crazy long, but the fact is I had missed two days, so I'm back in the mix. I tried something new with the camera. Maybe it's a little bit more clear. You can see this mug. I'm sweating like a pig. But the fact is, I got to get ready for my live stream. So I'm going to have to cut it off. Hopefully, it's not too long. Hopefully, you had some info. Hopefully, you had a lap. Hopefully, you crush in all your contests. Here's the salute. And as always, my brothers and sisters in Christ, let's crush.